Hello, collective. Welcome to my platform. Thank you for watching and supporting as always. So let's see what in the name of source is going on here today. So we have someone that did some type of undercutting, uh, some type of sneaky actions, right, to ensure some type of victory for themselves. So this is a narcissist. This is someone that feels entitled to what belongs to other people. This person may feel like whatever it is that belongs to you, that you don't deserve it, they deserve it. This is just someone that feels entitled in life, does not want to work in a, a, a logical way or a ethical way to get what it is that they want in life. So they will do any and everything just to feel that they won the battle, was victorious and things like that. So this is someone that, that stole some type of victory by paying another person in the situation so they may have paid a queen of pentacles it does not have to be a feminine energy this can be a masculine energy but someone paid to have some type of victory or they pay someone to block some type of victory from coming towards you this was something that was supposed to lead to you having some type of brand new passionate beginning you stepping out on faith you having a brand new perspective on life, being able to see the brighter side of life, being able to, you know, live in just a better existence, right? Uh, you being able to see things from a higher perspective and, and um, believing in the future, basically. So this is what someone paid to be taken from you. So it could be that someone paid to block some type of payout or block some type of, uh, um, job opportunity business opportunity collaboration someone paid to block some type of abundance for another person someone may have undercut a king of cups or there is a king of cups in this situation that would like to invest into you pay uh some type of financial blessing to you something small um hopefully you will nourish it or nurture it so that it can become what it is that it needs to be with the nine of cups showing out here uh, so this person knows that if they invest in you that you will nurture their blessing or their investment in the way that it's supposed to be um, and it's going to be something that turns out to be abundant for you right this could be someone that is standing their ground against a queen of uh, swords so there could be something going on in the background where it's like there has been some type of uh, um disillusion going on so people have been living on some under some type of illusion and this king of cups may be breaking that illusion speaking his truth about you and things like that um you're showing up uh, showing up here as the star so this person is speaking their truth right so all of the lies and things people have been speaking saying whatever this person is re uh, refuting all of that he's speaking his truth we should be while the queen of swords is showing up out here um this is someone that's taking charge you yourself you are showing up here as many different characters right all the different queens in the deck you're showing up here as a queen of pentacles a queen of swords a queen of wands um so you have a lot of different aspects of yourself showing up in here um and this is because in each situation you are taking on the necessary energy so that you can maneuver your way through that situation and not let anyone <clears throat> get one up on you up on you right so you're even showing up here as the queen of cups as well okay so you are someone balanced someone very uh articulate uh modest someone very beautiful passionate about life dedicated to their career their craft and things like that family oriented so you are you have quite a lot going on but this king of cups is standing his ground he is defending either you or whoever this message pertains to or whoever this message resonates with um and you are showing up here as well as a star seed so that means you're someone gifted someone protected a visionary a blessing um someone that is very uh nurturing right you give way more than you receive from people and the fact that you're showing up as the star seed and a queen of cups immediately afterwards lets me know how kind hearted you are and someone extremely extremely intuitive you could have some psychic gifts some spiritual gifts and things like that like myself here um so you are very abundant in life spiritually and physically as well so someone may be watching you on social media or a group of people are poss possibly watching you to come up with some type of plan on how to 
prevent you from receiving this financial opportunity. Someone may be wanting to steal from you. Um, they may want to come in and cause some type of illusion, uh, present you with false opportunities and things like that. That is why we have the seven of cups followed by this uh, um, five of pentacles um, out here. So someone wants to come in and cause some type of illusion to you um, so that you can be left out in the cold, especially when it comes to a twin flame connection. There is someone really set on receiving this opportunity and not you someone is very much invested in having this connection that is yours in the first place and having this financial opportunity that is yours is that someone knows how abundant you are and they are not abundant because they haven't done the work throughout their lifetimes to be this abundant to have this many blessings in their lives um so because they know how abundant you are they are doing work behind the scenes to prevent you from receiving your blessings and things like that but it's not going to work that way there's a union that is due here there is some type of work and plan that was put in place to get you to walk away from your blessings but that's not what happened what's happening someone instead is being forced to walk away to find a higher meaning in life see things from a higher perspective perspective find fulfillment in life and things like that someone is like going through some type of dark night of the souls with the eight of cups out here in the moon someone is going through a dark night of the soul is that someone wanted to come back towards you to have some type of new beginning that was not genuine but they're being forced to walk away because it's just not going to go according to plan is that you're done with the past there is a king of pentacles in here that has something going on um or that has something going on with the past this person went through some type of awakening as well. Uh, they may have realized that there was someone in their environment, in their energy that was stealing from them. They may have had something going on with the past, but they are leaving that behind them, right? Except, you know, there's also someone that's still, someone from this person's past, maybe your queen of wands, that wants to remain connected to this person, but it's just not happening that way. This king of Pentacles is taking charge of his life and moving forward. He's not letting fear hold him back anymore. He has done the work that he needed to do. He has gone through the dark night of the soul. So this, this is possibly why I saw that. It said this King of Pentacles has already gone through his dark night of the soul. He has now taken charge of himself. He may have been dealing with a lot of different addictions and things like that but he has overcome that he has learned how to tame the beast within himself um so someone from what i'm seeing someone may have undercut a king of cups in here as well so there could have been something that had to do with a connection that re in, that was in regards to a star c so maybe this person felt that they were meant to be with the star c but someone else came in and intruded that connection maybe someone else thought of felt that they were more fit to be with this star c um, and decided to do something right that led to a loss for the star C. You could be facing some type of disadvantages and things like that when it comes to finances, home front, and things like that. But just know that everything is going to be a okay. This King of Cups is also showing up here as the as a star C, right? As a star C. This means that this is someone that is gifted. So you two could very well be counterparts to one another but someone in here feels that you two should not be together this could be a mother figure as well that is holding this king of cups back she does not want this person to be with you because you may come from a different different background than this masculine maybe you're someone of the light and this masculine comes from a family that's from the dark you could be of a particular complexion and this masculine could be of a particular complexion and the mother may be a bigot and she does not want you two together this woman could be financially motivated as well this could be someone that was paid to hinder this uh, uh this union this coming together and things like that um this king of cups however is walking away from these people from this collaboration from this setback to find higher meaning in life so quite possibly it could be that even though this king of cups is someone with spiritual gifts someone that is spiritually awakened and things like that has not been embracing that side of himself has instead been living a superficial life and things like that and it's being forced to see things from a higher perspective um to do things a little different right 
something has been illuminated to him okay there was some type of logical plan in here to come in and, and give you something so someone wanted to invest in you you the queen of cups and things like that because they saw you as their soul twin but there's something in here that you are not seeing or this person was not seeing i don't think it's you queen of cups that did not see this i think it's the person that wanted to invest in you initially that was not seeing the truth this is because there were a lot of activities going on around this person there were a lot of secrets this person themselves had some type of secret they were keeping from you or they just didn't want you seeing about them so this was someone living in fear refusing to walk or go through that dark night of the soul so this could have been also another reason why this person did not come to worship because there's a secret someone may have partook in some type of activity against you or just there's something malicious behind the scenes and <clears throat> they were not willing to confess their face the truth and so they were trying to prevent themselves from facing them fears and things like that there is something in here about loyalty that just maybe may not exist between these people that were working together because i see a lot of different characters in here they are now all showing up together so that lets me know that people had their own agendas going on even though they may have had some type of general plan to cause you some type of loss some type of ending they all had their own agenda own motives and things like that for why they were either coming to coming after you or causing blockages and uh, endings for you right these are people that don't really have any type of loyalty there is no loyalty amongst criminals amongst thieves so it's not a surprise that things are playing out this way someone in a uh, pay or someone was investing a lot into achieving some type of financial abundance financial uh, um, abundance for themselves basically i didn't know how else to put that um someone knew that something didn't belong to them but they were willing to pay just to receive that something um so this is what's going on and the truth is being spoken as we have the spiritual sword out here um someone is no longer accepting the a ridiculous story that other people are telling about what happened in a situation someone wants the truth they're telling people to cut the crap cut, cut the s-h-i-t and tell me exactly what's going on something here has to do with the queen of wands from the past um this is someone that is not genuine there's no genuine connection with this person with the fact that we have the six of cups here in the reversal position this means that someone does not have fond memories of this queen of wands okay or this queen of wands does not have any any fun memories of whoever it is in the past so you could be this queen of wands collective and there's someone from your past that wants to connect with you but you don't have any fun memories of this person there's no nostalgic feeling in actually when you think of i just heard the word in uh repulsive or impulsive someone when you think of your past you are repulsed uh, you don't want to have anything to do with your past, but it could be that the past is very much determined to reconnect with you, to have something to do with you. But some of you, this is not an ex. This is just someone from your past that you may have been acquainted with that took some type of action against you to cause you some type of loss, right? this person you had some type of genuine connection or friendship with you were very open with this person very uh, sincere with this person um and this person may be having some type of reflection or reminiscing about you realizing that they really missed out on a beautiful connection a genuine connection with you so this is why we would have this six of cups out here in the reverse right your brand new passionate beginning is due to you it is a promise to you so you can rest assured that you are going to receive what is due to you your character is being seen there could be some legalities going on something with the justice system because maybe something in here was done illegally there could have been some type of finances stolen which left you having to pinch pennies and things like that there could have been opportunities stolen um so that hindered you and caused you a loss you may have lost the opportunity to collaborate with someone else however you still have your brand new passionate beginning coming in your character is being seen the truth is being seen 
you are being defended by someone or your ancestors or the universe, but they are working through someone as well. Um, you are going to be restored. You're coming out of this period of like having to budget everything, living from paycheck to paycheck. Um, you're coming out of that and stepping into abundance. And this is going to happen really spontaneously. It's going to seem like it's overnight, like it happened for you overnight, but it's not overnight because you know what you went through. And this is going to help you step into your King of Pentacles energy. But some of you, you will be connecting with a King of Pentacles um, that is very grounded, uh, does things the right way. This is someone that's letting go of their past and stepping forward into the future, just things of that nature. So you have a very beautiful future coming up for you. There's a King, Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords in here. They worked together to cause some type of illusion. So this could have been someone's mother, somebody's baby mama, someone's sister. There's some type of dominant feminine energy in a masculine's life that was working with another feminine energy behind closed doors to cause some type of illusion. Um, and it is unfortunate because they thought that they were going to get away with this, but they are not getting away with this. These two work extremely hard to block someone's finances, to have someone stuck, to have someone blocked. They went above and beyond to do this, but things are being balanced out. Whatever these two were doing behind the scenes, it is being undone, right? As, uh, it is it is exactly that it's being undone balance is being brought into the situation what this queen of pentacles can expect in the future is that she will be betrayed by the very people that she was working with or the person that she was working with to cause you some type of loss as well this king this queen of swords is no longer going to be able to deceive this queen king of cups because the truth is being seen it's like you see the truth about a situation and someone is still trying to manipulate you it's like you see something is blue and someone wants to convince you that it's purple but you've already seen that it's blue and you're telling them no i see that it's blue and they're like no maybe you're colorblind no i'm not colorblind it's exactly what i said it is right so this queen of swords is having a hard time uh keeping this facade that she's been keeping for many years and things like that there was a plan to cause an illusion to a star sea uh, to have you living in light to steal from you is there someone wanted to come in it's like you had some type of blessing right some type of opportunity and someone wanted to come in and cause some type of pollution present you with a lot of false opportunities so you could end up choosing the wrong things and miss out on your actual blessings and it's just not going that way um you've been experiencing some stagnation a lot of loss and things like that and this is not because of something you did it's because of the working behind the scenes that these people were doing each having their own motivations their own goals and things like that their own ulterior motives and then working together as well so you've had a lot of odds against you by a group of people that just are malicious greedy and selfish and superficial insecure that's what i just heard right so you are taking your strength back you're taking your your, your um power back basically you're staying calm in this situation not reacting to anything people are doing because there's no need to react you are the star c so you're in, you're the one in control of this situation how things are going to play out you walked away a long time ago so everything these people are doing you are no parts of you want no parts of it's like these people are kind of fighting amongst themselves it's like people not realizing that they are working extremely hard to cause themselves endings is what i'm here hearing they, they think they're causing you an ending but they are really ensuring their own endings there's a queen of cups here that was stealing something from someone she could, could have been stealing your work pretending like it was hers there could be someone in here as well pretending to be gifted but they are not this is someone also there is someone also people go to in here for readings but this is someone that manipulates stories right she tells stories in a way where she will lie about what's going on she's not telling the truth uh so she creates her own scenario what she's seeing in the cars is not what she's telling people um because she's trying to paint a narrative this is someone that's really bitter and insecure and things of that nature um but anyways this is your read. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.